I've had a love for wildlife and wild places since I was a, a young boy. And when I was in high school, I learned what a wildlife biologist was, and I just decided that that's what I wanted to pursue. And years later, here I am. Wyoming is an, an excellent place to study wildlife ecology because Wyoming is kind of the, the last frontier, at least in the lower 48 states. And just the wide open spaces and the abundance of big game populations is ideal for someone like me who wanted to study moose and bighorn sheep and, and other ungulates. We're trying to understand the basic biology and the fundamentals of of ungulate behavior, but then we can of course use that information and apply it to real world situations such as understanding how long it takes migrations to reestablish themselves after they're disrupted. Migration and moving from low elevations in the winter time to higher elevations in the summertime which have better forage uh, improves the nutrition and the energetic state of these animals, which improves their survival and their reproduction and allows those populations to both grow, but also to maintain themselves over time. If things like high traffic roads or fence lines bisect these routes and these animals can no longer move between their, their summer ranges and their winter ranges, this could have um, very negative impacts on their populations. So I believe good science does stem from good questions. My most recent research is on trying to understand whether the migratory behaviors of big game are cultural or if these are innate behaviors. What is really interesting about this is we often think of behavior as something that's um, selected for and inherited through genes from generation to generation. But our research shows that largely migratory behavior of ungulates is simply a learned behavior passed from generation to generation. And so when a young sheep or moose calf is with its mother during that first year of life and experiences that migration, it's likely thought that that is when they learn the migratory behavior. And understanding whether it's innate or learned behavior has important conservation implications. Once a migration is lost, from our research, it likely takes decades, possibly a century or more, for these um, migrations to reestablish themselves. By communicating to the public that animals have culture, people might just care a bit more about these animals, and that'll further aid in their conservation.